Welcome into the Sun Devil Source ASU Baseball postgame show alongside Jack Harris. I'm Rob Warner at Phoenix Municipal Stadium where number 13 Arizona State fell to number 4 Oregon State in a rubber match on Sunday 4-3 to three. and Jack for Arizona State the starting pitcher Sam Romero was doing a pretty good job limiting damage in the first four innings. The fifth inning came around though and two runners got on. He got two outs but after that Blake Brazell came in and really struggled from there. Yeah, so Romero comes in today, starts for the injured R.J. Dabovich, um, faces a bases loaded jam in the first, had a couple other times where he had to strand runners on the corners, but was able to get out of those situations in the fifth, like you said. He gives up the one run, ASU then goes to the bullpen, and that's where it kind of comes apart. Blake Brazell comes in, throws five pitches, all balls, walks a batter, falls behind another in a 1-0 count. Tracy Smith didn't like what he saw. He pulls him, brings in Mark Lid. bases still loaded. Lid gives up a two-run single. Um, and, and that's the difference in this game. I think th this series, there wasn't, a, there wasn't a lot to separate ASU and Oregon State. I think the biggest difference in my eyes was the situational pitching. You know, ASU struggled in this situation. They struggled last night when they gave up a couple runs late in the game, whereas Oregon State was able to get through two of these late game situations. Uh, in the ninth, they were facing a jam. ASU had the tying run on second, but they were able to get a strikeout of Spencer Torkelson to end the game. And that's the difference between a team that like Oregon State is probably a top five team in the country in ASU, which isn't quite there yet. This weekend, they looked good. They played well. They were able to hang with the defending national champions, but the Sun Devils still just had that little bit of room to go before they really reached that level. And, and a sequence like that, what happened in the fifth, really shows that. And today, Arizona State stranded eight runners. On Friday night, 14 runners. It just seems like this team's having trouble putting runs across against some of these top teams. And Oregon State's situational pitching was very good. Is that something that you expect to see out of the top teams that Arizona State's going to have to play down the stretch, like UCLA and like Stanford? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the, the things that really separates good college teams from average or bad ones, is their ability to get out of trouble when it comes around. And especially for a team like ASU that makes a lot of contact, that puts a lot of guys on base, but can sometimes be hit or miss with their ability to drive in runs to hit with runners in scoring position early in the season against not as good pitching staffs. ASU was really good in that department. But lately, especially this weekend, they showed a little bit, uh, they, they struggled a little bit in that area. Some of that is to do with what Oregon State did, but some of it is also, you know, you got to have a good approach in those spots, um, which isn't to say ASU didn't. But again, th those are going to be the, the moments that, that dictate how some of these games turn out when ASU is playing top teams. And again, I think that's where you see that little bit of separation between the, the, the best teams in the conference and where ASU is right now, which is probably just a step below that. And so for Arizona State now, the team has lost six of its past eight games. It gets a little bit easier this week, potentially taking on Seattle in a midweek matchup before taking on Utah in Salt Lake City. What do you expect the next couple weeks could hold for Arizona State as they're on the road a lot? Well, it'll be interesting. Like you said, their next two Pac-12 series are on the road. We don't know what R.J. Davovich's health status this is going to be um, there's a chance he could miss both of the upcoming series and, and what could happen there is it, it really thins up the bullpen today I mean if you think about today's game in that fifth inning when ASU gets in a jam probably the two relievers you would have want to brought in there were, were, were either Sam Romero who had to start the game because of the injury or Brady Corrigan who had to pitch more or who threw more than 50 pitches on Saturday night so that's where I think you could see ASU run into a few problems especially if they're playing close games in some of these series uh, they, they, they're better than Utah. They're, they're probably better than Washington, which has slumped a little in recent weeks. Uh, but it's not easy going on the road. The Sun Devils found that out when they went to USC last week. And when you have uh, only a certain number of guys that you can depend on, you, you need all of them to pitch well. Today, Blake Brazell did, and it cost them. And if you have more instances like that, um, it's going to make it tough to win some of these games. So on Sunday, it really was just the fifth inning collapse for Arizona State, giving up four runs, and that ended up being the difference in the game as Arizona State fell 4-3 to three in the rubber matchup on Sunday. But right now, for Jack Harris, I'm Rob Warner, and for more ASU baseball content, keep it locked on sundevilstores.com.